I just quit my fucking job. Ah, I'm nervous to film this video. Oh my gosh. Okay, maybe I won't do this right now. No, we gotta film this now. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As you guys can tell by the title, I did something big. I quit my job. <laughs> it's only been a week since I stopped working my job. Like it's been a full week now and it has not hit me. I was going to take my time before I told anyone. I hadn't told my family. I wasn't gonna tell you guys. I just, I was not gonna tell anyone for a while before I like got my footing. I just like wanted to get comfortable with my decision and really not hear any opinions to be honest. But it felt really weird to keep it from you guys. I feel like you guys are, like this is not just my journey, but I feel like this is really our journey. And you guys are the reason why I'm here, right? Like whether you've been watching me from back when I was in college to even just like this year, you guys are the reason why I am here. Every single like, every single every single comment, even if you don't ever comment or engage, just you even viewing my videos, like you guys are literally the reason why I'm here. And I'm just so, so grateful to be in this position. I'm so, so grateful for you guys. And I'm so grateful for the fact that you guys are able to be a part of this journey with me. And it just didn't feel right to keep it from you guys any longer. So I actually filmed the entire process of me quitting my job from the day that I decided it was time for me to get the fuck out of there up until my last day of work. So I'm gonna show you guys what that entire journey looked like. I'm just gonna warn you guys, this was a very dramatic video. There were a lot of tears, a lot of emotions, a lot of doubts and fears in making this decision. And yeah, there's gonna be some crying. So I hope you guys enjoy watching this journey. I'm gonna chat with you guys a little bit more after about my plans for the future and what's to come and what this channel is gonna be like and all that stuff. But first let's rewind back to a few weeks ago. I normally wouldn't film myself like, like this, but I wanted to just show you guys like where I'm at with everything. It's time for me to leave this fucking job. I can't do this anymore. I, I'm at a point where I'm really stressed out. It's not just that balancing content with my job is difficult, but my job, my work environment is really toxic and I'm the only person of color on my team. And someone was recently, the other person of color that was on the team was recently fired. Sorry, I'm making coffee, but I've seen like my manager, the, the environment is not inclusive at all and I, it's just not a good work environment to be in. And the level of stress that like our team is under is not normal, it's not natural. Like people on my team will tell me that they work until midnight and I'll get emails at like one or two in the morning. I'm just like, I don't understand how people live like this and normalize this. Um, and also it's like, there's this expectation for me to care about this job the same way that they do, right? And I'm not, I'm just, I can't do it. I've been putting in a lot of hours into my nine to five that I don't even think are really even doing anything, to be honest. And I think the main thing for me is like, like the number one thing that I'm struggling with this, with this nine to five is like how I feel ethically working for this company, right? Like we all know Amazon. If you guys already know, I work for Amazon and I work specifically for AWS, right? So they're cloud service. And specifically I do marketing to cops. I market to not just cops, but I do marketing to justice and public safety, which is cops, courts, prisons. But that all to say, a lot of the conversation, a lot of the marketing activities that I do, a lot of the webinars are like how to make police operate more effectively with technology, like whatever the fuck that means. It's a lot of bullshit. Facial recognition, shit like that. It, like, w what do you think is gonna happen when you put more advanced technology in the hands of bad people? If you guys have watched my videos from like a while back, I got promoted to this position with no pay promotion, but I got promoted to this position um, the week that George Floyd died. So it was like the week that George Floyd died, I was working on webinars, um, marketing to cops. So that all to say, it's time for me to leave this company. I have 100% become complacent with this job and I've gotten way too comfortable with the amount of money that I'm getting paid. And that's really what it comes down to. I'm scared to be broke. I'm scared to not be making as much money as I'm making from this job. I'm making really good fucking money, like for someone coming out of college. And that's all I really was focusing on. And I feel like a sellout. I feel like really disappointed in myself, honestly, that I like put so much time and effort into this company that like, 
It's so fucked up. Like, it's not even a good company. Like, I'm talking, I'm making videos about fuck capitalism, and I'm sitting here and supporting one of the worst companies in the world. And the thing is, I could so easily go look for a new position or, like, a new job even, but, like, I don't even feel like doing it. Like, if even if it's a company that I care about, I would then be feeling bad because I would still be trying to focus on, like, content is the main thing that I want to, this is what I want to do, right? And I don't want to, like, yeah, I don't want to, like, half-ass. If I don't want to find a company that I care about and then half-ass it. All this to say, if you are in a position where you're trying to figure out what to do with your life, blah, 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 money is great. Don't get me wrong. The past year has been great being comfortable, living comfortably, but like, it's not worth being, I don't want to say miserable, but it's not worth your like mental well-being and, of, and you compromising your morality for money. It's not. You can live comfortably and live a good life without having to do something that you hate every single fucking day for eight hours a day. Like, you don't have to do that. You don't. I think we, like, past generations might think that that's the norm. It might teach you that that's the norm. It's not, it's not required. I don't know. I'm rambling, but I'm going to do something about it. Today's the day where I'm like, I'm, I've been waiting for YouTube to take off and all these things. I've been waiting to be, like, even more comfortable from social media before I quit. But I realized, dude, like, at the end of the day, it's, like, the perfect timing is not going to come. You sometimes just have to pull the trigger yourself and be a little bit uncomfortable for things to work out the way that they need. I know what I want, and I know I can get there, and I know I will. So it's, at this point, just me trusting in the universe that, like, things are going to work out. And they are. So, yeah, it's time. <sighs> you guys... I'm just like a disbelief right now because the way God works is absolutely hilarious. God listens and is like, oh, bitch, you're ready. You actually want to walk in your purpose. Like you actually want to know what you need out of life. I'm going to give it to you. <laughs> and I also bought Moldify recently. Anyways, I'm not going to get into that. Let's let's talk about what's going on. It's June 3rd. It's been like a month since I talked to you guys last. Um, in the past month, I kind of talked myself out of quitting right away. I kind of promised myself that I would quit by the end of the summer, but <laughs> shit never goes as planned. <laughs> Let's be real. Back when I talked to you guys last, I spent a lot of time like praying and kind of meditating and like journaling and just asking God, asking the universe to provide me with a clear sign of what I should do. Cause I think in the moment I was really emotional when I was on camera, as you guys can tell, I didn't want to make a decision about quitting my job out of fear and out of a place of like intense emotion. I wanted to be very sure about it. So I've kind of spent the last month just thinking, planning, and I was watching some video where someone said that you should ask for a very specific sign so you know exactly when God is trying to tell you something. <laughs> so when I was going to a whole little meltdown, I asked God for a very specific sign. And the sign that I asked for was for God to make me lose this thing that I have attached to my laptop that basically allows me to get work done. Basically, I need it to work. And so I asked God, I was like, if you want me to leave my job, make me lose this little key thing. And then a few days later, I was like, wait, actually, I take that back. Please don't make me lose this because if I lose it, I might have to turn it back in. I have to probably find it or probably have to like pay for it or something. So never mind, I don't want to lose it. So I just asked God, I was like, give me a very clear sign and make it have something to do with this little key thing. Deku, you're snoring. I'm trying to film a video, dude. Lo and behold, I asked for my sign and I got it. Um, this week, my key stopped working. <laughs> It just completely broke. Like, it just does not work. Some of you guys might think I'm crazy, but, like, I'm a firm believer in, like, signs. And so I kind of took that as a sign, but I kind of ignored it, honestly. So all this week, I've been working with my IT people at my job. I've been trying to get it fixed. And then I get a call from my manager today. And turns out they're moving me on a different team. <laughs> And it would basically require me to do more work. So like I will have less time to work on content when I move on this new team. And so both these things happening in one week, like this week is very clear to me that it's my sign. Like I actually feel more sure than I ever have in my entire life um, that I need to quit this job. Like this is the universe literally being like, bitch, here you go. Since you didn't take the first sign, Here's your second sign. Like, I don't know how to explain it. I know I probably sound crazy, but like I literally knew as soon as my manager told me that they were moving me teams, that that was my second sign. So <laughs> here we are. And I feel like, again, I'm coming on camera when I'm like in a state where I'm like very sure of myself and I might completely change my mind like by tonight or by tomorrow, but I feel very sure and a lot more calmly 
sure and i think it's now time for me to actually just take the steps and quit this job so what i'm going to go ahead and do now is look at my budget look at my expenses i'm going to share with you guys everything i'm going to be very black and white about what like my financial situation looks like right now i know a lot of you guys don't want to be working nine to fives for the rest of your life so i want to share my journey even though it's very chaotic and it's not as planned out and as perfect as i thought it was going to look that's just what happens and every I don't know I just I'm gonna stop rambling but I'm just gonna say like every time I read a book or every time I get any kind of insight on people that like from people like that I look up to and stuff on these kind of things it's like I'm realizing like nothing is ever going to feel like the perfect moment sometimes you just have to make it the perfect moment and you want to make decisions when you know what's right for you you can't expect other people to understand that I think the past month when I was talking to everyone in my life about quitting my job everyone was trying to talk me out of it like my family some of my friends they were like you just bought a car what are you doing but it's like no one else knows your situation but yourself and sometimes like while it's amazing and really important to take advice from the people you love like not everyone knows your situation my friends don't know how much money i'm making they don't understand how much money i made in the past month i made more money than i've ever made in the past month and while i know that that's like spurt like that that it fluctuates right with social media I made $14,000 this past month. Like, I'm gonna be fine. <laughs> like, I know I'm gonna be fine. And I think the more that I try to talk to people, the more fear I feel. And I don't wanna make decisions out of fear, right? Like, I wanna make decisions because I trust and know that the universe is going to guide me and take care of me. And that's how I feel genuinely in my heart. But I feel like sometimes when I overextend and overshare, other opinions and other fears and other limiting beliefs get seeped back into me. And I'm kind of unlearning all these limiting beliefs that I've had just from growing up, right? And so I think this decision, I'm going to have to finally just make it without the help of anyone else. And honestly, I think if I quit my job this month, I don't think I'm going to tell anyone for a few months. So yeah, thanks for listening to me ramble for 20 minutes. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys in a second. Two hours or so um doing some research crunching some numbers just seeing where i was at financially with everything and i'm like kind of <laughs> i feel weird because i'm actually in a way better position than i thought i was um i have a lot more money saved up than i thought i did just like in different places i'm investing my money in a few things so i have money saved in different pockets i really want to look at how much i'm spending each month and also how much i currently have saved up and make an estimate of how many months i could go by comfortably if i were to make zero money right now from youtube how many months i could basically survive so with the amount that i have saved i can go about eight months wait let me do that math again hold on i need my calculator yeah no that's eight months so i can go i can survive for about eight months with the amount of money that I have saved up in my account, which is so much better than I thought. And looking also at my budget, I can see how much money I expect to come in with the amount of sponsorships that I have secured for the next few months. And I'm feeling really good, <laughs> to be honest. Like I'm actually feeling a lot better. It's also a little bit scary knowing that I am gonna be okay because it's also like not giving me room to make any more excuses about quitting my job, if that makes sense. Cause I think I, I don't think, <laughs> I think a really small part of me wanted to not feel as comfortable financially so that I can make another excuse to stay with my job because that's just the safest like I like a small part of me wants to just keep going the safe route because I'm like because I'm scared like literally that's the only reason why I refuse to keep making excuses like I'm not gonna keep letting this side of myself I'm not gonna I'm not gonna let like my fears run me anymore like I'm over it you know but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and resign <laughs> You guys it's time time to quit my job <laughs> i am a little bit nervous i'm like kind of shaking a little bit i just want to do it i just want to go ahead and just do it i actually already drafted up my resignation email so it's sitting here just waiting for me to hit send i don't know why this feels like such a big deal oh my god i feel like i'm like not like not to be dramatic but i literally feel like i'm like 
ending my life right now. <laughs> oh my god, I don't know why. Oh, I want to take a sip of water. Honestly, at the end of the day, I keep asking myself, like, what's the worst that can happen? If I, if things don't work out the way I plan, I can always, I have plan B, I can go get another job. Like, I have this amazing job on my resume. Like, I'll be fine. But, um, I'm just really nervous. Like, my heart's, like, pounding out of my chest. Uh, but we're just gonna go ahead and hit send. I'm just gonna stop talking. So it's 11-11. I'm hitting send right now. I just saw it's 11-11. I'm hitting send. Please accept this as my formal note of resignation. My last day will be June 18th, 2021, two weeks from today. I appreciate your support during my tenure here. And I take with me the valuable experiences. I found this resignation template online. I'm hitting send. Why did I just do it like that? I literally didn't even fully proofread the email. Oh. I'm like shaking right now. My dramatic ass hit send at 11.11. I really wanted to be at 11. I didn't even realize that I would, that's what I was trying to do, but as soon as I saw 11.11, I was like, hit send. Oh my God. I just quit my fucking job. Oh. I'm so excited. I'm not gonna cry or anything, but I'm just like, I don't even know what to do. I'm gonna scream. But I'm in an apartment, so I'm not gonna do that. Was that a bad decision to make? Should I not have done that? I think I made the right decision. Okay, I'm gonna get off camera because I just need to like sit and think for a little bit, but I feel really, really good. I feel like I should be crying right now, but I don't want to. Okay, I can't form words, so I'm gonna go. I'll talk to you guys later. I can't believe I did it. It's been a week now, like I said. It's officially the second Monday. This is the second Monday of me not working a nine to five. And again, it still hasn't fully hit me. If you guys watched my last vlog, you guys know that last week honestly was not the best week for me. I just was in a really deep funk. And so it didn't really feel like the week that I expected it to because I really thought my first week out, like my first week free, was gonna be like insanely fun and like me just making a bunch of content, all that stuff. It didn't happen, but that's okay. This week is gonna be an amazing week. This journey of me working for myself is gonna be an amazing journey and I feel more confident than ever in my decision. I kind of did take a leap of faith because I've only been doing this well on YouTube for three months but I have a savings, I feel good, things are gonna be fine. But yeah, I'm just really excited to share with you guys what this journey is gonna look like moving forward and show you guys that like, if I was able to do this, then you can do it too. I really wanna give you guys more of a peek into my finances and sponsorships and the business of YouTube and all that stuff. So I'm gonna be doing more budgeting videos. I'm gonna be doing day in the life of a content creator videos and just sharing with you guys everything behind the scenes of how my life looks because obviously I have lots of like, motivation and productivity videos, but this is not going to always be an easy and fun journey. And I realize that. And I just want to show you guys everything just out in the open. And I also just have so many other things that I'm just super excited for. Like the fact that I can even make more content, the fact that my content I feel like is going to be higher quality. Now I have ideas and plans for finding ways to communicate with you guys more one-on-one -on -one and possibly give you guys some resources and tools to help you guys escape your nine to five or pursue your dream or whatever that may be. And so there's a lot to come. There's a lot that I'm really, really excited about, but this was like the big news that I just cannot keep from you guys any longer. Again, thank you to every single one of you for watching, for commenting, for liking, for subscribing, for everything. I, again, would not be here without you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.